up on the boat over there. It's about to get cracking, y'all. Where's my bottle, man? Come on. Come on. Got the bottles popping. Oh, the bottle, man. Somebody you know, good atmosphere. Good party style life. He was living it up. Yeah, I had to leave my own party early. I'm ready for the game. I had a celebrity basketball game to go to. I'm playing today. It's going to be hot. What up, man? Yeah, I had kind of a lot of commitment. I had a party going on, and I had the game. See? You lucky I'm nice, baby. I can't be everywhere at once, but I try. I do try. Yo, come on. Let's go in and do the damn thing, man. We going in the arena or whatever. You ain't never gonna see Michael Iverson come through the game, walking through the locker room, preparing for the game with one of these, baby. You ain't never gonna see that there. First of all, I'm walking in with a bottle of liquor. Rule number one, you don't walk in the basketball arena with a bottle of liquor. I may have came here with, with a Remy bottle in my hand. We gonna leave here with a win. You can't come from a party and go to the basketball game. Match, you know. Joey Crack. Joey Crack. We get in the locker room and my man Joey Crack. That Joe's in there. Joe, you playing today? Yeah, uh, they gave me a one X. <laughs> <laughs> and the jersey was too small for Joe. Being that my nipples were showing, I have to be player coach. I'm on the sideline. You know, everybody told me not to go out there and make a fool of myself, but I don't listen. I continue on with my fool ways and, you know, make an ass of myself on the court. I ain't scared. I'm ready. First shot I took was looking good. You know, hit off the back of the rim, but it was looking positive. You know, it wasn't a brick. You know, it was looking like I just needed, you know, one or two more of those, and I'd be all right. When I missed the layup, that's when I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> I was on the court, but my shot wasn't on the court with me. Bad half, how about a bad half? It's rough out there. This is why I rap for a living. This is exactly why. It was a whole lot went down at the end. It was confusing, but it went our way. And uh, that's how it's supposed to be, baby. That's right, we busting ass. So what, yeah, I had, I had a, you know, I had, I had a couple of points, but we bust their ass. That's what the point is. No matter, we win the game. All right, man. All right. All right. See y'all later. I'm a basketball player. I love ball. Like I can play. Don't let this clip fool you. Matter of fact, I, that's right. I'm reeling all you suckers in right now. You're gonna watch this clip and think Ja Rule can't ball and gonna get on the court and I'm gonna bust your ass. I ain't gonna be drunk when I meet you. It's my daughter's first day of school. Oh, I promise to take it. Can't let my little baby down. Aww. School, first day, you ready? You think you know? You have no idea. This is the diary of Ja Rule. September 5th, 2001. New York City, NYC. I'm home. It's my daughter's first day of school. Oh, I promise to take it. I'm tired as hell right now, but can't let my little baby down. School, first day, you ready? I'm home about a week. A week out of every month. So I try to be there for the big things. Because those are the things that hurt me when I was younger that my father wasn't around for. Brittany's my little princess. Who's that? She's so smart. That's my daddy in that right picture. I'm well spoken. I have my daddy t shirt that I scooped in. Just completely opposite from my father when I was coming up. I love to look at that and to see her, you know, becoming something more than I was at such an early age. My mommy already put a berry drink in there. Sky's the limit for her. And this is my little brother, Jeffy. Young Rule. Ah, that's my little man. I got my girl and I got my boy. He's my male version, and she's my female version. Like, they both me. He's a little madman. Running around, breaking up everything. He's me when I was a baby. Cross on like daddy, you say? For sure. Will you let me quick breakfast sandwich? My wife knows me better than anybody, probably, besides my mom. He likes to eat. Don't let him fool you with that body. She's been there the longest with me. Since, like, junior high school, I know my wife. We all met her way back then. And um, here we are, you know, married with children. Ready, baby? 
for I can't even explain it. Now. Like my daughter motivated my whole career. Brittany getting back. Yeah. She's the reason why I really went after this music thing and went hard. Back a little big for you, ain't it? And when she was born, I had no choice. I had no nothing else. Let me see your face. And all I had was my hustle. Every rapper's story, same old thing. Murder! It was either I was gonna be kingpin drug man or I was gonna be king rapper. First day of school. And once my daughter was born, she motivated me down the right path. Yeah. What's first grade? What's first grade? Uh, over here. Is there the first grade line right here? We find her. I go to the line. I talk to a teacher. This is one of my daughter, Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Brittany, this is your teacher, Miss Doc. I waited today. She was ready. That's my baby, man. You're not scared, right? I was giving her the real lessons of life. You know, I was letting them know, you know, if anybody hits you, you hit them back. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, I got you. I'm going to Your baby's growing up. She's growing up, y'all. You're looking at a degenerate right here. I've dropped out. I ain't. I wasn't in school, so I got to teach my kids way better than that. Well, I don't 100% regret the path I've chosen because it brought me here. She wasn't in school either, but she graduated. I graduated. Yeah, but <laughs> there's certain things if I even to take back, I would do them over properly. But the only way to do that is three year kids. Make sure my kids don't drop out of school. Jesse, am I gonna drive this car? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The wife wanted to get her nails done, so. I had the boy with me. <laughs> there you go, man. That's right. I went over to the studio recording a record. It's a real serious, serious record. It's for a cause, AIDS in Africa. It's crazy because, you know, we're basically losing a whole continent of people to a disease. And, and you know, it's hitting me, like, in a, in a way while I'm way over there. That's my heritage, my people that are dying. I'm so grateful to you, darling. When I get there, and I see all the entertainers and all the artists there to support, you know, it's like, wow. How you doing? I met damn near every artist in the industry. Anybody I haven't met, I met them that day. <laughs> all right. I want to take them home. You can say hi to the camera. Okay. Hi. Look at that, Larry. It's that the song is a remake of um, Marvin Gaye classic, What's Going On. It's a serious song, but it's fun at the same time. Jermaine Dupri spearheaded the whole thing with Bono, and he wanted me to rhyme on the track. So the rap 12 bars, They didn't have any words for me to sing, since I don't sing. I'd be interested almost hearing you talking. It was kind of hard to put words to a classic. You know, I don't, I don't want to be the one to f*** it up. You know, everybody else got parts to sing that with Marvin's words and you know if you got a beautiful voice you can basically you know <laughs> fill that part what's going on? What's going on? but you know that's what I love I love a challenge <laughs> and I don't write my lyrics down I write them all in my head it's that energy when I get in the booth I, I try to block out all the that's around me It's just me, the music, and the engineer. I came out right. I came out real hot. It was a good thing for the music industry, too. <laughs> I put the piggy in the brain. brain. All right. Yeah. Today's work done is a room full of people that wouldn't normally be together. All different types of people that normally wouldn't make a record together, wouldn't be together, nothing. Thank, Thank you, man. We were all together, you know, for that cause, and that was cool. They got me there way ahead of time, like nobody else was there. Hurry up and wait. I'm like, you know, since I'm down here, I'm gonna prepare, get mentally ready for what's about to go down. You think you know? You have no idea. This is the diary of Ja Rule. <laughs> September 6th, 2001. I've been watching VMAs for I don't know how many years now, like, damn, I'm gonna be on there one day. 
And you know, it just the, the dream just kept getting closer and closer. Tell Ja to focus in and steal the show. This is big. Irv got it. It's not about stealing the show. It's about giving a good show. You just want to burst. You want to get it out. You want to get, get it going. Man, there's a lot of money in here. My brother is Joe Cool. Like, he's so cool. He's the ice man. He's my role manager. We enjoying life because we're doing something we love to do. Who better to be with than your family? Man, I gotta hit the red carpet, you fools. Move my glasses. Get on down to the net, and it's like a mob scene out there. There's thousands of people out there, cameras everywhere. It's anarchy. It's the infamous MTV Red Coffee. I'm just really trying to take it all in once it's possible, but still being cool. You, know, that, you, know, you, can't, you can't let them know, you know, you're sweating. You, you know, you always got to be cool. Right now? Right now? Yeah, 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 Opening? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Food and everything, I'm a little trally trap. <laughs> this is about to be some right here. Oh, this is so awesome. Dancers are on their way down. Just want to make sure you were here and you were cool. But they just got me here extra early. They rushed me. I guess, you know, they figured get the rapper here first, you know, before he be somewhere off and get in trouble and not be there for the performance. Hurry up and wait. They got me there way ahead of time, like nobody else was there. How'd they get me here for the dance, man? <laughs> that ain't even right. H to the is old, B to the is A. You know, since I'm down here, I'ma prepare. Get mentally ready for what's about to go down. What up, Ma? I know you watching. <laughs> I love you. It's about to go down. Your little boy is grown up. Crazy love, crazy damn thing. Murder. As soon as I say my first word, I'm all right. Me and the stage is at one. Me and Jayla worked the stage, you know. It was hot. Last change of the day. My whole day, I kept saying, damn, I'm happy that we're kicking off the show so I can go to my seat and sit down and watch the rest of the show. And once we did the show, I had to do the press. We have two minutes. Man. You know it's gonna repeat 27 times. Yeah, but I wanna see live, man. Seeing it on TV is not the same. I'm there. I wanna see, I wanna sit there and watch, you know, and I'm watch them do it live. I can rock them off the ass a little bitty bit, make them look a little better, better. <laughs> How you doing? That's a good show. What are your fun? Home from work. 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 Home from that's always, you know, part of the award show. All time favorite video. Um, I was back there for, for a period of time and I was missing all the show. I got some fried chicken in my trailer. I can come get TV, but After press, I finally, you know, was able to get back over to my seat. Great award show. Can't wait to do it again next year. October 2nd, 2001. This album is entitled Pain is Love. And um, it's different from my first two albums. This third album is dealing with a lot of passion. Y'all ready? Y'all ready, OG? It's cool when you know, people you make the music for give you back the love and let you know that they appreciate what you're doing. Come on, go to the mega store. Go to the mega store. The singing gal boy. I'm one of them. I go buy CDs. You know, I listen to music. I appreciate other artists. And I know what it is to not be the person that you think you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
comfortable stage right now. I have the eyes and ears of the people that I think they're curious is to see what I'm gonna do next. Right, I just wanna tell you congratulations. He's good. Let's see if he's great. And I think they're all watching right now. They wanna see if I can leap into what they see as greatness. It's been a hell of a ride in TV Diary. I loved it. I hated it. <laughs> we had a good time making it. It's the rule, baby. Pain is love. We out.